he's staying right here, he doesn't actually want to say hi. So I bet you if I push it, then I'll get the go away from him. So I'm going to push it a little bit. There, that, see that little nose thing? It was a go away. The ears are back. There, that's a bigger go away. So he's actually been very clear. Like he, he sent me the message first with his energy that no, I don't want to connect with you today. And then when I persisted, I got a little nose toss like this. And then when I persisted, I got the pinned ears and a bigger nose toss. So, and even right now, you can see from the way he looks, that he's not interested in interacting with me today. So I need to respect that and just leave him alone. Although he was quite happy for me to put the hay in his bin, that was considered an acceptable interaction and something that, you know, directly benefited him and made him feel good. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, see what he's doing with Poser right there? He's doing the same messaging with her. He's like, go away. This is normal horse language. It doesn't mean that the horse is getting dangerous or out of control they're just asking you can you converse with me are we allowed to not just exchange love and good things but are we allowed to exchange boundaries are we allowed to say i don't like that i don't want that because that's part of freedom in order to understand our horse's language both body and energy it's a good idea you like that cobra it's a good idea to spend quite a bit of time watching them and watching how they message each other. By watching your own horses, you can learn their body cues and how they communicate with each other, that they want space or they want you to move or they'd like to share affection or they want you to go away all of these things so then you can become more skilled at reading your horse's language with you and the more skilled you become the horse doesn't have to message you so you know violently or with such big gestures okay so watch cobra and odie right now So Cobra had asked Odie, can I stand here? And she swung her head around to get a good look at him and get a good read on him. And I'm surprised, but she has said, yes, you can. Now, she might change her mind, but for right now, she's allowing him to rest and chill out very close to her because Odie is a horse that likes her space. And again, that's the other thing that you'll learn about your horses. How much space do they need when they say, I want some space? And what distances are comfortable for them? Because it's very individual from horse to horse. So that in itself is interesting that Odie swung her body over to widen the gap between her and Cobra. Does that mean, hey Cobra, have some more space. I'm really comfortable with you here. Or does it mean something else? Obviously, that is that they've sounded the alarm. Everybody's noticing there's something out there worthy of looking at, and now they're done. So will Odie move on or will she move Cobra? She's moving on, but he was really ready for her to move him. He was a bit jumpy there.
And so you can see by Sione's cocked hind leg over there that she's wanting to settle in for a rest or a meditation. That was kind of Cobra's idea too. And here comes Kalia. Let's see what she does. Simaka. There we go. So he signaled little Posey here with his pinned ears and his hind first. And only when she did not respond and she continued to say, no, really, can I really share your, <laughs> share your box? Did he go after her with a stronger communication? Zora and Zeta. Zeta has the blaze. And this is a big feeder and they're quite happy to share right now. Nobody's asking anyone to get out of their space or it's not looking like they're annoying each other. Although Zeta is, you can see she's really pushing into Zora's space. So does she just think that wherever Zora is, the hay is better? And Zora's tolerating that. There's no problem. Pose is asking Cobra if she can join him in his box. But he's blocking her. See, that's a no. But I think he's gonna groom her instead. Aww. Are you? So no, she can't have your box, but you can have snuggles. have found their meditation spots where they both feel comfortable. And Kalia and Makamape both have their spots where they're comfortable. Meanwhile, Zora and Zeta have both moved to different spots. And I think this is the thing that us humans don't really understand about horses is how much they like to move, which is awesome. They're built to move continually. They're, they're not built to stand in a little square cage and do nothing or eat. So obviously if your horse is in a little small square cage, it's better that they can eat rather than just standing there, having their guts eaten out by their continual acid production. But what's really good is even just to get them a walking track so they can move around. 
And here comes Ada, because, you know, because movement. Getting Makata move. See, very gentle pressure required. He didn't argue with her at all. Now, did you see that pinned ear from Maka and that bit of hesitancy? That wasn't for me, that was for Kalia on the other side of the divider there. So he still has to kind of get her permission to eat close to him. And Zeta is bugging him from behind. Zeta and Cobra both have a cocked hind leg, showing that they're going into their meditation spot. And these two are still totally chilled. And I bet you before too long, we may have all of them. And you can see poses hind leg cocked there too. So she's got her meditation spot around the corner from Cobra. And Zora, Makai, and Kalia are still eating. just like to be close to their Uncle Cobra. Sione feel about Makama Pei coming to meditate close to her. Mm -hmm. There's Tootie, Mama. Ka has stopped there, but you can tell from his body language he hasn't gone into rest. He hasn't settled. His energy and his back leg isn't cocked, so we still don't know where he actually wants his meditation spot to be. He's kind of still in dialogue with Sione about that. And of course, closing off the side there, we have Big Mama.
to eating and the rest are resting. So maybe that's what Macau was waiting to have happen, to be able to come in really close to Sione and itch his butt without her getting annoyed with him and asking him to move. And we'll see when he's done itching, does he then settle down and go into his deep meditation or does he leave or does Sione drive him away? Tell him, Mama. So you see, even though it looked like Macaw was very relaxed and resting there, you could tell from both his energy and his body language that he was not resting the way the others are and he did want something and then when he felt it was okay to move closer and that Sione would tolerate he moved in and scratched his butt which is what he really wanted from the very beginning Since he's not ready to rest And of course that could change in 30 seconds or five minutes or an hour. Is your mouth itchy, Sione? Do you get itchy from Timothy like I do? And Zor and Kalia are still munching away. Mm -hmm.